Hey guys, um, it's been a long time. Uh, if you haven't watched any of my other videos, my name is Sandra. Um, it's been probably about, looks like two years since I've uploaded a video. Maybe not that long, but it's been a long time. Um, I got into it because I just wanted to play games and record myself because I like playing games and I decided to upload again. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, today I decided to do Animal Crossing because I saw that the new game was going to be coming out next year and so it got me interested in playing Animal Crossing so I looked you know online and I found this game and I played it before but it had been a really long time so I turned it back on and it's fun it's cute it's adorable um, if you've never played an Animal Crossing game what is wrong with you? It's like, it's freaking adorable. Um, anyway, so I thought today I would just go through the game a little bit. If you've never played it, maybe you do want to play it eventually. Whatever. I really love this game. It's cute. It's mobile. It's free to play. Um, of course there are in-game purchases, but, but yeah, anyway, so game basically is you running your own little community uh this free version on the mobile is called uh pocket camp where you basically run your own little camp instead of a, a community but it's basically the same thing as any other animal crossing game but um just a little bit different uh so yeah basically you have your little camp and you can put items in it upgrade you have little animal friends that you become friends with let's see so They'll want to chat with you. You level them up. You gain items. It's basically, it's a good time waster for sure. Um, but let's see, who was it? Okay, so they want to talk to me. And my face is covering up. Let me move my face. Hello, Sasa. Lunch plans today? You can say, tell me a story. Sometimes they'll ask you for items um, that you can collect throughout the different recreation areas. And I'll show you that. But tell me a story. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, and sometimes they give you items. Sometimes they just say like, oh, I love that you're such a great friend. And then their level goes up just by talking to them. Um, this happens just every once in a while. But they'll give you um, things that you can use to create furniture to put into your camp or your RV. Um, if you've ever played Animal Crossing, you know that like Tom Nook always gives you a loan for your house upgrading your house upgrading different things in the town uh but basically just your house but here it's your rv and i'll show you mine in a second but instead of tom nook that's another guy and he will upgrade your first floor eventually giving you you know your second floor upgraded but whew, excuse me but yeah same thing goes with this um your little campsite you have your little rv that you can upgrade you can make it bigger you can get items craft items and then eventually just that's basically it honestly but it's adorable and i love it and then you're upstairs and same thing like you put your items in there make things but i actually think i already made it bigger possibly i did and then i didn't do anything with it um uh, but you can see at the bottom, you can place items that you craft or gain along the way. Um, I'm a little bit of a higher level. I don't know what the levels go up to, but I'm just playing it and it's fun. But anyway, you can pick from items that you've gained. I'm just going to pick this guy here. Ornate rug. And there it is. But you can just rearrange items any way you like. I'm just going to move things back because my room got bigger. I don't want everything in the middle. You know what? That's good. I'm done. Save. All right. But yep, that's basically it when it comes to your RV. It's just fun to do. Honestly, it doesn't give you anything unless there's a quest, I guess, maybe eventually that tells you to put something in your camper. But I have not seen that yet. But my favorite thing to do in the game is collect everything. I'm a hoarder. I like to collect everything and anything until my inbox is full and it makes me sell them. But yeah, 
basically, let me see, like, my items. You can hold up to, well, right now I can hold up to 255 items, and that's anything from fish, fruit, seashells, bugs. Sometimes there's, like, more rare fruit or, like, per perfect apple. There, there's a perfect apple, and sometimes the fish or bugs are more rare, and they cost more. Like, the other day, I was at the beach, which I will show you, and... I kept catching rare fish, and I caught two of these almost back to back. They're worth 30000 but I'm just kind of holding on to that. Like I said, I'm a hoarder. I want at least one of everything, or three of everything is what I've been kind of doing here. When I finally catch them, I don't know if I'm ever going to need to give them away because your friends or the animals in the game will request items from you. And most of the time in the beginning, they're going to request items from you that are very common common fish, the squid, the flounder, and whatnot. But I'm holding on to them just in case down the road it does ask me for a more rare fish. Then I already have it. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and talk to these guys real quick since they want to talk to me. Where are you? Oh, you're all up here. Hello. Let's go over here. You, what you want? Teddy, where's your protein shake, Sasa? Let's talk. Your campsite is the best, pound for pound, the most relaxing campsite in the world. I should give you a championship belt, but I can't, so I'll give you this instead. Enjoy. So yeah, he just wanted to give me something, which is awesome, because I use all these things to build more furniture, and that is basically the concept of the game. Get stuff, get stuff, make stuff that is basically it all right let's go talk to you Boo. got something you want to chat about yep so do you need some help i have this theory that if you eat the seeds in your fruit then that fruit will start to grow in your belly i can put my theory to test right now if you have any extra fruit see like she wants fruit so i'm gonna go down here and find some fruit that maybe i have a little extra of i'm gonna give her an apple i have 10 of those here you go. Whoa, this apple looks pretty tasty. I could probably eat it in one bite. Thanks for this. Sometimes they repeat themselves too. It does get very repetitive. And that's probably one downside of the game. But like I said, it's a good time waster. It's adorable. It's cute. So I think it's fun to play. Might not be for you, but it is for me. Yeah, and then their level will go up. And of course, on the right side, you have like your mailbox. You can collect things that you've gotten from other players or just from like from the game. And then you have Isabel's like goals and requests that you get um, from special events or just from daily events. Like, I'm almost done with this one complete 25 quests for visiting an animal. You can get that done today. Um, so if you pull up your map, there's different areas with different um, animals there that aren't currently at your campsite or your cabin. And I'm not going to probably go through everything. It's too much, but you can play with it yourself. Like I said, it's just a cute, fun time waster. Um, my favorite area to go is the beach. So I'm going to go down there. It's to the bottom right. And I'm going to go there. That's where I find most of my rare fish. I get more money. That's paying back that loan for the RV upgrades. Let's see. Seashells. More of these. Coconuts. Yeah, you'll find coconuts in trees. Seashells in the ground. Fish in the sea. I mean, basically, it's just super cute. I've said that a million times. I'll say it again. It's super cute. But that's basically... See, and I already got... A surgeon fish, which is worth worth more. It's not a common fish. But and there's another one. Let's catch this guy. This is by far my favorite place to go. Just because I catch a lot more rare things here than anywhere else that I've seen. There's an area with bugs. Sometimes I find better bugs there and I'll catch them. But basically, you go to each area and you collect the items. And you talk to the animals there. They rotate every, I don't know, three hours or so. 
every so often and they'll ask you for items and in exchange for those items or whatever they want you to do you get you know them leveled up and then you'll get basically resources that you use to um, make furniture which you can bring new animals into your camp or new furniture so that you can play another game now where they uh you basically decorate a room for an animal and if you have like basically the full set of that furniture you get three stars um so basically that's it but um i like so much to catch up catch you up on cheapers here i want to give them the items they want they want an apple and an orange i have those i'm going to go ahead and give them to twiggy But basically, you can do that. There's four different recreation areas that animals will show up in. And they will ask for, think, three different sets of items. And then you can ask them, like, what's going on? What's the latest? So, what's the latest? And it's basically, like, at the campsite. They'll talk to you. Sometimes they'll ask you for something special. Like, they want to give a gift to another person. And you have to pick the one that you think they'll like the best. So, if they're, like... An animal that likes natural things or cute things or sporty things you kind of want to just pick the right item and that's it it's just a fun game to play honestly and like i said it's free to play you really don't need anything like buying in-game purchases at least for me is not necessary because i've played this long enough that i finished everything i need to do i can come back to it later Everyone's moved, and I can do it all over again. It's just, it's just fun to play. So, okay, if I always wore a flower around, I'd be a girl who always smells like flowers, right? That's not a bad thing to be known for. If you got any flowers, so now she wants a flower, which you can uh, grow at your campsite. I don't know too much about the flowers, but you can figure that out on your own. But I'm going to give her one of these other, this white plumera that I have from an event that I had 20 of. So I'm gonna give her that one. So we're gonna just go through that. I won't do all the animals, it'll just take too long. Um, I know there's a couple other maybe little secrets in the game. Um, I don't know them all. I've just heard that you can get up to a thousand bells, which is the currency from shaking um, one of the trees apparently you can do that once a day and i did verify that is true earlier today i shook a tree um in the bug area i don't know if it's going to be the same tree every day or if the tree switches but it gave me 300 from shaking it and i didn't know about that till then but like i said this is my favorite area to go to because a lot of the time if i stay here a while i will start to see more rare fish and I use that to pay off my loan. And I can show you that if you go to the bottom and hit more, your loan's right there on the left. And right now, my loan balance is 100,000. I think that started off after my upgrade at like 250,000. But like I said, it's so easy to get bells in this game, especially if you hang around the areas where you're getting the more expensive things to sell. So what I like to do is basically fill up my inbox with everything I can find and all the rare fish. And sometimes I just try and do fish like because they'll respawn sometimes pretty quickly and sometimes not quickly enough. But if they are, there's another one. Um, if they are spawning quickly, I'll kind of hang around that area for a little while and just go back and forth. And sometimes I'll collect... I've seen like four rare fish pop up back to back, but sometimes you'll get the horse mackerel. That's a common fish. They're only worth 10 and so are the squid and the flounder, but then you'll find the more expensive ones, um, pop up that are worth a thousand, 500, uh, 1500, 2000. And, um, there's a Napoleon fish. I once caught like three times in one visit and they're worth 5,000 each. So that was cool. So they are the clown. I caught Nemo. 
yeah, you can find Nemo and Dory here. But, yeah, and they're both worth more as well. So, yeah, sometimes I just get a whole lot of the common ones, which, of course, you're going to see a lot of the common ones because they're common. But, like I said, if I hang around here for a little bit, I will start to see more of the rare fish back to back. And I don't know, that is probably a coincidence. Honestly, it probably is just a coincidence. I don't think that if you hang around in one area for a long time that they're just going to start showing up back to back. I think, honestly, I was just really lucky and it's just been happening more and more. To me, maybe because I'm a higher level or maybe it's just a coincidence, but either way. All right, I'm going to go to a different area on the map. Uh, so basically, yeah, bottom right, you're going to have your beach. Uh, the next one up to the right is basically a fruit grove. You're going to find apples there, pears there, oranges, grapes. Um, and from time to time, you will find the perfect um like a perfect apple, perfect pear. I've gotten a couple of those already. So you can see down here. Yeah, I've gotten like the perfect grape, perfect cherry. I have two perfect oranges. I also read that if an animal asks you to give them a fruit, but not a specific one. Like if they say, hey, do you have a grape? And you give that to them. But if they're saying, hey, give me a fruit and you get to choose. I read that if you give them a perfect fruit that you get more for it i don't know if that's true but if i come across it we will try that out and see what happens uh i'm gonna go to the lake that's at the top left see like he's asking for a flounder um so i can't give him another fish so if he just asked for a fish then i could give him any fish i want I'm going to skip through some. Here you go. I'm going to go ahead and just give them that and see if it's possible that pops up that I can choose like a fruit. I am going to try that. Now, sometimes you give them an item and they do a little video. Honestly, the videos are cute, but I kind of want it to keep going. I don't particularly care for them, but they are. Like, he's asking for a flower. Sometimes I'll ask you for a flower. I luckily have it. I don't spend too much time in the garden. Maybe I should. But I keep just enough for when they ask me for one. There's another little video. There you go, Tex. All right, there's a fish here. Won't we'll get that fish. Sometimes I find rare fish here too, but I just feel like I get more rare or more expensive fish at the ocean. But look, I got, I got a good one here too. I think, I forget how much these are worth. Maybe a thousand, maybe 1500, maybe less. I can't quite remember, but you can see what they're worth in your items when you go to like sell them. That's another common fish, but yeah, here's the fruit. These are the same thing, like the fruit grove on the map. There's some fruit here, too. I'm going to fill up eventually. Did you want anything else? No, you're done. Okay. So it's just basically like one talking scenario and three different scenarios where you get them items. And there's another rare fish. Sweet. So when my inbox is full, it's going to ask me to get rid of some. And I'm going to sell all these rare fish I catch for money. There's another rare fish. That's awesome. But you. Pale chub. That's just the ten. Ten bells. 
think there was another, yeah, there's more fruit trees up here. I'm pretty sure I am about to fill up. Yep. So I'm going to go through. I like to keep about seven-ish of the normal fish in there and three, I think I already said this, and like three of the other fish. But I'm going to go through and sell some of these. To give myself some room. Here's a blowfish. They're worth 1500 I feel like the Napoleons are worth 5000 But I'm going to keep that one. I like to keep at least three of them. These, 1500 Okay, that was that loach fish I caught. I'm going to sell some of you. And... I think that's it for now. I'll sell some of these shells, actually. They're only worth 10, so I'm just going to get rid of some of these. Get myself some more room. Now I can pick up these cherries and these grapes. Alright. Are there any more fish? Yes. Yes. That's yellow perch. That's another normal fish. Here's another fish. Oh, there's more fish in this. That is pretty good. Sometimes I feel like they regenerate faster, but like I said, I don't know. It's just what I've maybe experienced while playing. I feel like the fish regenerate better at the beach, but I know that is just, that can't be true. They probably regenerate the same everywhere you go, and it's all in my head. feel like I'm getting a lot more common fish now than I was this morning. But, oh, there's a crawfish. He's worth some money, too. All right. So, um, as far as, like, crafting goes, I'll pull that up. I've completed one of those. Oh, she uh, you can see what other the other animals want by basically pulling up the contacts. So I'll do that now. Contacts and let's just pick somebody I don't have at the camp. Let's pick ketchup. So ketchup, you can pull down and see that she wanted a cutting board set, brown lattice fence, a chair, and what. So like the things they want to basically come to your campsite. And the... I don't know what you get. The more animals you get to go to your campsite, honestly. Because you can only hold so many at your campsite. And then you can send them home. Basically, get get your favorites. Bring them to your campsite. And live a happy life. But... I guess you can... You can click on it. And you can favorite that item. So that when you pull up your craft menu. And you're able to make it. It keeps track of that. So, I can just favorite that. Did I already? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and just favorite these because I like ketchup. So, I'm going to pull up my craft menu now. And under my favorites, they will pop up. And it says I can craft all three of them right now, which is pretty awesome. So, I'm going to just pick one of them for now. Let's do the first one. You need 30. I luckily had 84 wood. And it's, you'll tell you what type of furniture it is. It's natural. I'm going to go ahead and just start that. And it'll tell me. It's going to take three hours to finish. So I can just get that started. And when I come back later, it'll be done. I can start on the next craft. Thank you. Awesome. So, what have I not talked about? Lots of stuff. So, yeah, on the map, uh, on the top... There's like a quarry where you can get resources and your friends can help you out. There's the interior design thing. I'll, I'll go there really quick. So, I don't know too much about this yet. Other than you can get the recommended furniture. And you can pass with like three stars basically. And your rank will go up. Um, and it starts with... the. I'm going to move my face again. Course 1. I'll put Course 1. I've almost finished these... Um, the last one I have is that two-toned room. 
and you can hit the recommend to pull up the furniture. So I have some of them. There are two of them that have not popped up for me to even be able to make them yet. So I don't know if I have to be a higher level or they just haven't shown up yet. But the more you level up, the more items you're able to make. So I'm actually not quite sure when that's going to show up for me. But I'm waiting for the last two to show up to make them so that I can get all three medals, I guess, on this one. But same thing. Um, I finished the other ones. You can play them. You get three tries a day. And uh, you, that's basically it. It's all for fun. And then you have your event classes. You have so many days to finish them. And you need special items for them as well. But I think you have to use them by buying like cookies. And it takes leaves. And that's more like in-game purchase sort of a thing. But I'm not really interested in that. But feel free to explore that yourself. Yep. And then uh, you have different classes. And they're just fun to complete and do. So that's that. You also have your OK Motors. That's where you can go customize your camp. Your camper. Sorry. I can, you can go customize your camper with different layouts for your camper. I have the Animal Crossing camper. That's mine right there. And then you have your little guys. And you can pick different paint jobs and different designs for your RV. You can also play a little game here. That's basically it for this area. I usually just come here when I've paid off my loan. And I can upgrade my RV again. Which I am working on. Uh, then you also have... You also have the area all the way to the left. The marketplace where you can buy items. Clothing. That's another thing you can craft is clothing. Um... I got my dress from the last event of the flowers, but I got so many seeds from just completing tasks that I never needed to like buy them. So I really don't know too much about it. But yeah, there's some more items over to the right that you will use bells to buy, which is the currency. There's a red base. It's 2,450. I'm going to just buy that. I don't know if these are items you can eventually craft or... If they're eventually event items or if you can only get them by buying them. But just in case I do eventually need to craft it, I already have it. So I get plenty of bells all the time from selling fish and all these extra items. So I'm going to go ahead and buy all three because I don't have any of them. So sold out. I don't know how frequently he brings in new items or switches them out either, but I'm sure that happens probably every couple hours as well. I don't think it's once per day. And then there's clothing items, which I don't care to have any of those. But that's it for that. What else can I show you? Oh, the cabin. I think that might be a newer thing. Just like your campsite, you have a cabin you're running now too. And you can move items that can be in, or you can move animals that can be invited to your campsite to your cabin and it's the same thing with your campsite they might ask the one to speak to you they might want an item or just to talk to you and then their friendship will level up so basically you want to pick your favorite little animals and level them up for fun what a great time waster and really it is I can't say I don't I haven't really put that many hours into the game. I play probably a little bit each day. And when they like switch out, like you can see here at the very bottom of the map, all these animals are moving in 54 minutes. So I can go back and complete all those tasks and get resources and so forth. And so in another hour, new animals will be there. You can complete new, new tasks. And talk to new ones. Um, that's basically it. I'm going to go back to the beach really quick. But yeah. Right now I have to say this is probably my, my new favorite game at the moment. 
So I thought I would share that with you. I'm really close to finishing up this sea star collecting as well. And there's a sea star that I, oh, I completed it. So I just completed all the way on the right, the sea star pickup. So I will accept that. Congratulations. Keep up the good work. And then you get um, items or, you know, money or whatnot. Maybe leaves uh, sent to your inbox. And right now I just got a sea cookie because I think I just completed all of those, which really wasn't that hard because I come here every day and I pick up all the items. As long as you're frequent, it'll complete pretty quickly. Awesome. So I'm going to go to my inbox here, collect it. So I have a cookie. I'm going to go look for that cookie and see if I can open it right there. I'm going to eat it. Yes, eat the cookie. You'll catch a cold, but you'll get over it in a single day. Well, that sucks. And I have coral wallpaper, which is a special event item, I guess. I might use that. All right. I don't think there's anything really else to talk about. I could go to the other areas, but you can play for this. It's you know, like I said, it's free. You can discover it yourself. But fishing is my favorite thing to do in this game. When I played the other Animal Crossing games, I think I held more seashells than I ever should. Or than anyone ever should. But of course, you get the items, you sell the items, you pay back the loan. That is what Animal Crossing is. Paying back loan. It's about life, guys. It's virtual life with cute animals. But you still have to pay your bills. Yep. All right. Well, I'm going to leave that one here. I caught a squid. I'm going to leave this one here. If you liked it, play it. It's free. I have Android. I play it on Google Play. Uh, maybe comment. Tell me how you feel about the game. What's your favorite thing to do in Animal Crossing Pocket? Uh, and please, if you like the video, subscribe. I'm going to try and make more videos. Uh, I do this for fun. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to make any money off of it. But I get to do something for me. Um, if there's any other like mobile games that maybe you want me to try playing, let me know. Or other mobile games you think that I would really like. I'm always looking for something new and fun. But please subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.